In this video, we're going to open our survey database and we're going to perform a survey data set import. So in order to do this, we're going to go over to our tool space inside of our survey tab. We're going to drop down on our survey databases and we're going to locate our survey database. A common error that happens inside Simple 3D for users is that when you go to edit a survey database, some users will double click on this to open, which is a normal convention for opening files inside of Windows. But if you do that inside of Civil 3D and you double click on the survey database, what's going to happen is, and I'll do it here, is you're going to see this little uh, icon here, which is a, a stop symbol over a pencil, which basically means that this item can't be edited. If you were to double click on this and you did see this icon here, uh, what you're going to go want to go ahead and do is right click on here, close survey database, right click on it again, and open for edit. Now you won't have that icon and this survey database is now editable inside of your Civil 3D drawing. If you have opened this and you notice that you have an import event already happened inside of your Civil 3D, you can go ahead and delete it. If you don't have this, don't worry, we're gonna go through it and create it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete and click yes. Uh, and now I have a fresh survey database with no import events and no survey points, no figures, no networks, and no queries. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to right click on import events. We are going to import survey data and then we are going to walk through how to create a import of that survey data set. So we're going to specify a database which is our survey database. We're going to click next. We're going to specify a data source. So what the data source we want to use is we know we want to use a point file. The point file has been provided as part of this video course and so we're going to go ahead and select point file. We're going to hit the plus sign to add in that point file. We're going to locate our data sets and our survey folder, and you're going to go to your tobosurvey.txt. We're going to go ahead and open it. Um, and what you're going to have to specify next is the certain point file format that you have. I know for a fact that this file is a PNEZD comma delimited point format for a survey data set. So that is point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description with commas in between each of these descriptors. So we're going to go ahead and select PNEZD, and then we're going to look and you will see you have a point number, northing, easting, elevation, raw description. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. If there was a survey network, you could specify it here. We have no survey networks for this data set, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then now we have all of our import options. So we specify our figure prefix databases here. So what you want to do is want to make sure you have essentials selected. You want to process your line work during the import. Your line work code sets are going to be essentials as we described in the previous video. And then we are going to be importing our topo survey.txt. And we want to make sure that we are inserting figures and inserting survey points. So we're going to go ahead and click finish. And if you've done it successfully, what you will see is you will have a large amount of points and some figures imported into your file drawing. 